All right, thanks for watching. And from the producer of the sum of one over n squared comes another special where I evaluate the sum of one over n to the sixth because I wanted to do the sum of one over n to the fourth, but there's already a video on this on black pen, red pen, which I invite you to watch. And how do we do this? Well, using what's called Parseval's identity, but which function do we use now? For one over n squared, we had f of x equals x. For one over n to the fourth, which is n squared squared, we had uh, f of x equals x squared. And now, 1 over m to the 6th, it's m cubed squared. So let's use f of x equals x cubed. And let's see it's on the interval 0, comma, pi. Then, let's expand x cubed as a sine series, sum from 1 to infinity of am sine of mx. The nice thing is we know the coefficients, am, it's the integral from 0 to pi. You hug x cubed with sine of mx. You divide by this pi. And you multiply by 2 because it's a sine series. Now, this integral, I have done it in another video under a minute, but now I actually have time. So let me explain. This is the di method. You differentiate the hell out of everything. So 3x squared, 6x, 6, and 0. And here you anti-differentiate. Minus cosine mx over m, and then minus sine of mx over m squared, and then cosine mx over m cubed, and sine of mx over m to the fourth. You put your pluses and minuses. And you take the cross terms. Now, here's the cool thing. You don't need to evaluate all the cross terms because sine of pi m is 0 and sine of 0 is 0. So you can actually ignore this line. And similarly, you can ignore that line. Moreover, this one evaluated at 0 is just 0. So really, you just have to evaluate everything at pi, so you get 2 over pi, and cosine of pi m is minus 1 to the m, so you get pi cubed times minus 1 to the m plus 1, because of that minus, over m, and then plus 6 pi minus 1 to the m over m cubed. And the nice thing is, the pi's kind of cancel out. This pi cancels out with this, and then, but here we get a pi squared. So what you end up with is am, just simplifies with this, am, it's 2 times minus 1 to the m, sorry, 2 pi squared, man. Now I know, I'm, I made a mistake in a previous thing, but now I know where it is. 2 pi squared times minus 1 to the m plus 1 over m. And then plus 6, okay, it's plus 12, times minus 1 to the m over m cubed. Now, it's good, we found a m. Now we need to use Parseval's identity which is some sort of a Pythagorean theorem because it kind of says the sum of squares of AM square, it, I mean the sum of squares of AM equals to a square of this but in an integral fashion. So Parseval's identity now says sum from 1 to infinity of AM squared equals integral from 0 to pi, your function squared but with 2 over pi. Now, this one we can evaluate. You know, this is x to the 6. So an antiderivative is pi, the x to the 7th over 7. So pi over 7 divided by 7. So 2 over 7, pi to the 6. This one we can also evaluate. So take the squares of this. 
that becomes 2 pi squared over m times minus 1 to the m plus 1 plus 12 times minus 1 to the m over m cubed squared. Well, what can we pull out? We can pull out if you want 2 over m times minus 1 to the m, because there's like a common factor here, and what you end up getting is 2 over m minus 1 to the m squared times, I guess now we get minus pi squared plus 6 over m squared, and then squared. So you evaluate this, so you get 4 over m squared, and then if you want, pi to the fourth, and then uh, minus, yeah, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, pi to the fourth minus, um, it's called uh, 12 pi squared over m squared, and then plus six, plus, sorry, plus 36 over m to the fourth, which you can simplify to, I think, 4 pi to the fourth. Okay, so let me write this this way, 4 pi to the 4th times 1 over m squared, and then minus 48 pi squared times 1 over m to the 4th, and then plus so 144 over m to the 6th. And this is nice, so all you need to do is take the sum of this and equate it to 2 sevenths pi to the 6th, So basically the sum, or if you want, 4 pi to the 4th times the sum from 1 to infinity of 1 over m squared minus 48 pi squared sum from 1 to infinity of 1 over m to the 4th plus 144 times exactly the sum that we want equals 2 7 pi to the 6th. And notice there's something recursive going on because to evaluate the sum of 1 over m to the 6th, you need the previous sums, right? the m squared sum and the uh, 1 over m to the 4th sum. So that's what we want to find. Okay, WTF, want to find. This one I've done in a previous video. That's pi squared over 6. This one, I think black pen, red pen has done in a video, I think it pi to the fourth over 90. And so combining, we get 4 6, that's 2 thirds, pi to the sixth, minus 48 over 90, pi to the sixth. You notice how it beautifully balances out, plus 144 over that sum. 1 over m to the 6th equals 2 sevenths pi to the 6th, which tells you what is this sum. So 144 times the sum that we want, 1 over m to the 6th becomes, I think, 2 sevenths minus 2 thirds minus, I know I should simplify this, I don't quite know right now, uh, minus 48 over 90 pi to the sixth. Doesn't matter because we have to divide now. So let's divide by 144. And I believe if you do this horrible algebra, I hope this is correct, you get pi to the sixth over 945. Ta-da! And there you go, you have this beautiful thing here. And uh, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.